This is the Big Blue Cell Power 500, and man, I'm, I'm impressed. What up, yo? It's Ask God Solar, where I like to keep solar simple. And today I want to talk about the Cell Power 500 by Big Blue. We'll start with the basics. First of all, it is a 500 some odd watt hour device with a 500 watt inverter. I think it's 537. But this thing feels like it's underrated because it lasts forever. And the screen is freaking it's dope. Let's take a look at it. This device has been on for about an hour. The lovely thing about this screen is the screen stays on. It's like, yes. Now, before you get too excited, it does dim a bit, but you can always look over at it and see what's going on with it at a glance. It has two AC outlets that share a ground port. It has two USB-C ports on here, two quick charge USB-A ports. It charges from 5525. It has the 12 volt adapter with some 5521 ports and it has a nice diffused light on the back. The diffused light in the back um, works separate from the power of the device being on. So that's cool. You just have to press and hold it. It also cycles through its settings. It has three, I guess it's high, low, and then SOS. I like the devices where they just turn on and off. Led did a video on the Babine and that one has a light that does that. And the Satechi also just turns on and off and you have to press and hold it to cycle through the SOS or whatever. But you know, just thought you should know that. It came with the AC cord, the AC adapter, which is the brick with the wire on the end. It came with a 12 volt adapter and it also came with a 60 watt rated USB-C PD. USB-C cable It's not PD. PD is the standard. C is the connection type. This thing can charge from the wall at about 110 watts. It actually can charge from solar at about 100 watts as well. I, th I guess it's rated at 110 watts. It can charge from both of the USB-C ports at 60 watts a piece. So I don't know if you math very well, <laughs> but it can charge for 110 plus 120, which is crazy. That's freaking crazy. The only downside of this dip is that it doesn't have pass-through charging. Why? Now, I've never talked about this before, but a lot of times on Amazon listings, they talk about how charging and discharging the battery at the same time could damage the battery. I don't know how I, you know, I never read anything about it. I don't know if that should be a concern with LiPo batteries because they have such a great charge cycle life, but maybe it has nothing to do with the charge cycle life. Be that as it may, no pass through charging. It does not include an MC4 cable either. Something that is of note, <laughs> these freaking buttons, man, they, they did it right. They did it right. They have this nice blue hue around them, light letting you know that they're on. I love that. I love this device, man. And also the fan is relatively quiet. I haven't heard the fan at under like a 50 watt load. I power my TV from it. It's actually one of my favorite devices, larger devices because of that, the fan is pretty quiet. If it didn't, to be honest with you, if it didn't have the non pass through charging, I think this would be a great contender for a lot of the big name power stations. They did a lot of things right on this dip, a lot. It also has this um, handle. When I first saw the device, I wasn't impressed with it. It kind of looked very alien with this handle, but I like the fact that the handle could go down. It's a little rough, a little wobbly, but you know, what are you gonna do? It also has two handles on the side kind of like spots or indentations where you can put your hand on and hold it that way but the handle is the way that i use it i thought the handle was one of those like uh ones where you press it down and it popped up and then you press it down to keep it in that would have been really cool but it's not that you just kind of have to manually kind of force it and it's easy you know whatever one thing to note is that when you turn the device on the USB turns on with it, but if you press the power device again, then you could turn the USB off. I don't know how much power that saves, but it's something that's worth knowing. Compared to some other devices that I have that are rated at about the 500 watt hours, this device seems to last a little bit longer. I don't know if it's just super efficient on the AC uh, inverter or what, but I've been really impressed with how long it lasts. I don't know if that extra 40 watts just gives you an extra hour and I feel like it lasts longer, but I've 
man, it seems to last a lot longer than a lot of my other 500 watt hour devices. That could be in my mind. I'm looking forward to Jason Noy's review, his thorough review on it. Um, hopefully he puts it out soon because I'd like to see the capacity test. I don't have the ability to test capacity in great detail. Plus, that's not really my thing. I have been really impressed with this company, so to speak, because their Amazon pay all their documentation is really good, extremely good. They have one of the most detailed Amazon pages I've seen in forever. And the bottom of their device has all the relevant stats that you need on here. It has all of the rated inputs and all of the rated outputs. Usually what I have to do is I have to visit an Amazon page to get the stats on the device, but they are all literally right under here. So let's talk about the practicality of a device like this that does not have pass through charging, but pretty much nails a whole lot of other check boxes as it relates to stuff that I've looked for in the power station. It has the dual or triple charging. It can charge from the barrel plug and both of the USB-C ports. I mean, that's just, that's dope. That's dope. I did a short about it, um, showing how much power it could pull in. That wasn't the max power because I was just charging from a kind of interesting setup. But if you charge from the wall outlet and then two USB-C ports, you'll get about 220, 230 watts of power into this device. You contrast that to its watt hour capacity and you could charge this thing up in about three hours. It's pretty, pretty fantastic. Now, I think that the implications of this device is that it's kind of like a secondary device or it can be your primary device if you don't care about pass-through charging. It's hard not to care about pass-through charging. It's one of the most important features you could have in a power station, in my opinion, and pretty much anybody that matters opinion. <laughs> there are some caveats. I think this will make a great power dump by the sheer fact that you can push up to 200 watts of power into it. That's just so in a real life situation, let's say you have a power station, you have a single solar panel and it's pulling in power and that thing is starting to get full. Then you could grab this right here and just toss all of that power into here. And then you have a good device that can catch some of that power so you don't feel like you're losing out on the sun. I really like it in that regard. During the time of this recording, uh, the company has let me know that their devices are on sale. They also have a really nice solar panel. Um, I would like to get one of those solar panels because I'm very impressed with the look of it, the sleekness of it. So this stuff is on sale on Amazon and I assume on their web page as well. I think it's like $70 off, which is like a really good deal at the time of this recording. It may not last forever. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So overall, I'm really impressed with the device. The price is really good. It's very compelling. You can get other power stations, not necessarily better, but they have pass through charging for about the same price. So it's kind of like what matters to you. But if you catch it on sale, you catch it at the right price, it may be a good addition to your power station spread. If you're you know, if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> if you made it this far, why don't you check out one of these videos? If you're not subscribed and you're in the power stations, why not give it a shot? <laughs> you don't have to. It is I uh, holla.